Oh, hi! Welcome to Michael P's Cooking Show! With me, Michael P! Yay! And today, we're going to show you how to make Keebler Fudge Shop Fudge Stripes Fudge Covered Shortbread Cookies. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to need some scissors for this first. Is here's what you do. Okay, get it over here. Yeah, shortbread cookies. Okay. So you pour the contents of the cookie mix in. Okay, now you do this to break up all of the lumps. You try to break up the lumps like this. Bam, 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 bam. Now we'll need one teaspoon of water. You stir it. Deformed dough. Yeah, stir it like this. And now what you're going to want to do is to sprinkle your hands in flour like this. Yeah, rub it into flour, like, just like that. And now what you're wanting to do is to, like, something like, shape the dough. into small balls just like that. Okay. Now what you want to do is to spray the pan with olive oil. Can't spray. And now what you do is you like like put like two or something cookies onto each baking pan. Yeah, just like that. And now you want to bake these cookies in the easy bake oven. And now you're going to want to wash and dry the bowl for the, the fudge topping. Mm-hmm. That's what you're going to do. And you're also going to want to...
throw this out. The wax. You don't need it anymore. When the cookies are done baking, you're gonna wanna. Yeah. You're gonna wanna let the cookies cool for about 15 minutes. If you want, while the cookies are cooling, you can you can warm the fudge topping onto the stovetop warmer for about like ten minutes or something. So yeah, that's what you want to do. I guess that fudge topping hasn't all the way melted. So maybe I should put this in the microwave for about like 20 seconds or something. Well, I guess you might as well call them Keebler fudge dip shortbread cookies. So you dip them like this. Okay. Wow, that's looking great. Well, I offered those cookies to my sister Nicole and she kind of liked them. So, I guess that's it with Michael P's cooking show. See you next time.